The two uh, big surgical trials in mesothelioma at the moment um, are the MARS-2 study and the mesotrap study. So the MARS-2 study is uh, asking the question as to whether uh, pleurectomy decortication uh, may confer a survival advantage for patients with mesothelioma or not. And essentially, uh, having done a pilot study which recruited initially 66 patients um, and was shown to be in effect doable uh, and with a good safety uh, record, uh, we've now moved on to a full study. Uh, the chief investigator is Eric Lim in uh, the Royal Brompton Hospital and there are multiple centres around the UK involved. And essentially uh, what it involves is uh, taking patients with um, resectable uh, mesothelioma of the pleura um, and they are then um, offered initially chemotherapy, uh, two cycles of chemotherapy and then uh, they have a CT to check that their disease hasn't progressed beyond resection. And they, uh, if all is well at that stage, they um, then get randomised either to having the operation or not having the operation. The operation uh, involves removing as much of the disease as possible uh, from around the lining of the uh, chest and also over the diaphragm and around the heart. Um, and those uh, patients then go on and have four more cycles of chemotherapy post-operatively. The patients who are randomised um, not to have surgery just go directly to further chemotherapy. Uh, and we're also, um, as well as doing the surgical part of the study, doing um, health economics analysis and also something called a quintet uh, recruitment analysis, which essentially is looking at how uh, clinicians talk to patients um, about the trial and recruit to the study. Uh, because we recognise that in these difficult to recruit to studies, the interaction between the clinician and the medical team and the patient is, is very important in, the, in giving over the appropriate information. Uh, so uh, I think they need 262 patients in the study. Uh, we've now randomised 100 as of uh, the beginning of the year. Uh, so about another 160 to go. Uh, so it, it's going very well at the moment. So that will continue to run for probably the next couple of years until we fully recruit it. The MesoTrap study, um, which I am involved in running, uh, addresses a different question. Um, often when patients present with mesothelioma, they have fluid around their chest. And when we drain that fluid off, we find that the lung is unable to re-expand fully because it is what we call trapped. And the reason it's trapped is sometimes over the sur surface of the lung, you get tumour deposits and that prevents the lung fully re-expanding. So what we do, um, or potentially, is either a surgical operation or put in a, a catheter to drain off the fluid as it continues to recur. So if you talk to um, physicians, they generally like to use a catheter uh, if you talk to surgeons, they say, no, we should go in and do an operation and peel off all the tumour around the lining of the lung to allow the lung to re-expand. So there's, a, there's a, a, a split of opinion in the literature. So I thought, well, this is a good um, you know, subject to investigate and we'll set up a study to see uh, if we can t determine which is the best way of treating trapped lung in patients with mesothelioma. Um, before we do a full randomised study, which may involve hundreds of patients again, we need to do a feasibility study. So the feasibility study, which is uh, funded by the uh, Research for Patient Benefits scheme um, of the NIHR funding, uh, is going to recruit 38 patients initially. Um, and we're going to see if we can randomise them either to having the catheter treatment or having the surgical treatment. Um, and again, we're going to look at quality of life measures. Um, and, and one of the important things actually is just to find out how prevalent trapped lung is in mesothelioma because actually when you look at the literature, although, you, and you talk to clinicians, they'll say, oh yes, we see patients with trapped lung. Um, actually, we don't have very good um, metrics on how common it is. So just finding out how common it is, is is also an important thing. And we'll see, depending on the outcomes of the feasibility study, uh, whether we can actually progress to a full study. So that again is, is in a relatively early stage of recruitment at the moment, um, recruiting from multiple sites across the country.